Hallo zusammen und frohe Ostern. Um, today we are in Dusseldorf, Germany, and we are at Schloss Binrat. And I am very excited because this is one of my favorite places to come in Germany. It's really just a beautiful area, and the palace, the Schloss, is very beautiful. And so today we are going to walk the grounds, and I kind of want to share with you guys some information about this place and take you along with me. So, low skates. All right, so here in front of the palace, you have, or the Schloss, excuse me, you have this little walking area that you can walk or ride bikes, and it goes all the way around. And there's this pretty little, like a pond, I guess, and you can see all different kinds of wildlife. Um, and out in the middle there, there's a swan, so it's really beautiful. So we are going to start walking this way. And I'll show you guys a little bit more of the palace or the Schloss up close. I, I feel like in my brain, Schloss translates to palace, I think, in English. So more than it does castle. So yeah. <laughs> so it looks like on the steps over there in front of the Schloss, there's a little wedding ceremony going on, which is really awesome. Or they might just be doing pictures, but either way, it's a great location for that. It's so beautiful. I love it here. And then over here, they have a little cafe that you can eat and you can get coffee and it's really nice. So you can see people enjoying it. And there's more seating inside and there's more seating on the other side of this little building as well. According to the Schloss Benrad website, the Cour de la Guy, or the residential building seen here, is the architectural highlight of Schloss Benrad. The main building of the five-part building ensemble forms a formal and functional union with the gardens, the water, and the park that extends to the Rhine. In 1755, Elector Karl Theodor of the Palatinate had the pleasure and hunting palace built by his garden and building director, the Frenchman Nicolas Pigage. It was intended to serve as a summer and hunting lodge near the secondary residence in Dusseldorf and later as a widow's residence for his wife, Elisabeth Augusta. So we're starting to walk around Schloss Benrat, and you already have a little garden area right over here with some fountains. So beautiful and I can hear music over here too, so that's exciting. Look how peaceful it is out here. With the music. And this is a big area to walk around. And today it feels like a summer day. So nice. Oh, and I meant to tell you guys, we actually already had Easter with the family. Or yeah, Easter brunch. So I can pop that oh, I can pop that up on the screen really quick. Construction began in 1755 and was completed in 1770. Um, the ensemble at Benrat has been proposed for designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So if we pan over this way, that is so awesome. 1700s that was constructed. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then here in front we have this, um, yeah, this like not a lake, but this kind of water feature. Um, so actually right now we're behind the palace and it's just, it's like a dream. So now we are at the Orangerie where there is a little garden and everything over here. And I believe that this gate here and the building right here are original, um, originally built here as part of this this kind of hunter's palace, yeah. right? So I'll get into that a little bit more with you guys. So in general, an orangery is used to store orange and fruit trees during the winter in order to protect them. And this gate here and the orangery building are actually two of the original buildings that are actually left here at Schloss Benrat. From what I read, it looks like Charles Theodore 
had the original castle torn down and then he had this pink Schloss Benrat built in its place. So here we are entering into the garden area. It's a nice peaceful place to relax and look at some really pretty flowers. And I'm sure as we get closer to spring, or is it already spring? Yeah. As it gets warmer, then um, these will probably bloom a lot more. Well, it's really beautiful. So right here is a very popular area to take pictures. And I have to say, it's quite nice. Just walking? Yeah, silly. <laughs> so, durch die Wald wir gehen. Dänewald. Dänewald. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> so as you're walking through the woods, you have these little openings here. They have benches set up where you can relax and it's really nice and peaceful. <laughs> so all of the area around the palace um, is a Baroque styled hunting park, which obviously probably was used for hunting by the, the main man of the house. Um, but of course it is no longer used for hunting, um, but it is used for our enjoyment. So that's good, right? So we're slowly making our way back to the main part of the Schloss. So we should be there probably in a few minutes. And yeah, I've enjoyed my time so far. What about you? Yeah, me too. Yeah. I always enjoy it here. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> so up ahead, there you can see the main part of the palace again. The main part or one of the side parts? I'm not sure if that's the main part. <laughs> we'll find out when we get up there. We can never really remember where it lets us out to, but yeah. I like it. I'm I'm very I'm always happy when I come here. All right, yeah. So here we are at the main part of the palace again. Very beautiful. There's the guy still playing music over there. And now I want to walk over to the front area to show you guys a little bit more and talk a little bit more about these buildings here. Guys, can you see the Osterhase? The Easter Bunny? How cool is that? Sorry, I'm not sure how good the zoom is on the camera, but... Yeah, that's neat. Alright, so the main building is right here. This was originally constructed for the Elector uh, Palatine Charles and his wife Elizabeth. And then the two side buildings, one is over here and the other one is next to us over here. These were the original servants' quarters. Um, so I find that to be really interesting. And I think I wouldn't mind being a servant here. I don't know about you guys. I also don't really know how servants were treated here uh, back in that time in Germany, but looks pretty nice to me. <laughs> so before we head out, I wanted to tell you guys about the museums that they have here. So in the main building here, which is the Cour du Logis, I think that's how you pronounce it, that's a museum with guided tours. So when they are open, I definitely want to come back with my husband and do that. Um, and then on each wing here are two museums that have been open since the year of 2002. So this over here is the East Wing. Um, that is the Museum for European Garden Art. And then over in the West Wing, we have Yes, and the, sorry, for the West Wing we have the Museum of Natural History. So, a lot of things to do here. I just want to say I really, I always enjoy my time here. I have yet to visit the museums, but I really want to do that. Um, of course, today is Easter Sunday. So, um, yeah, Sonntag Ostern, or Ostern Sonntag. Oster Sonntag. Ah, I always get that mixed up. Um, so yeah, today we aren't going to do the museums, but maybe when we come next time, I will make a video about that if I can. Um, but if you watch this video, I just want to say thank you so much. Tell me what you thought about it. Um, if you've ever visited here, um, is there anything that I missed or that I should look for next time? And with that, I will say Froa Ostern and 
this next uh, bell. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.